Hello everyone. So now let us talk about the data flow in Azure Data Factory. Till now we have seen like how actually we can transfer our data from one blob storage to another blob storage from one SQL database to a, another blob storage. Mostly we have seen like how actually we can perform a copy activity. What we have seen, we have seen about all the activity like how actually we can transfer our data from one place to another place means we have seen about the copy activity. Now let us talk about the data flow. What is data flow? So data flow is nothing but a Suppose you, have, you are creating any kind of the pipeline where you have to do any kind of the transformation. So in that case, generally we go for the data flow. Now let us try to understand what is this transformation. Okay. So suppose you have one requirement. Okay. Suppose you have one requirement on which you are the data is coming from data is coming from one place. Okay. Suppose you have a data is coming from one source. This source can be anything. Okay. Now this source is uh, this source is not in a proper format. This source is not in a proper format. Like uh, there are some kind of the junk value we have, or there are some kind of the filter you have to do, some type of the sorting you have to do, or you don't want all the columns to be selected, or you want to do any kind of the this kind of the transformation activity. Then in the Azure Data Factory terms, we generally go for the data flow. There are lots of the transformation activity we have which we can perform in a data flow. Okay, so generally data flow we generally use it for the any kind of the transformation. Suppose you have to change the schema. Suppose uh, in your source whatever the column is coming right that suppose the column is coming in a string format but you want to change the schema into integers decimal like this format because you want to save in a proper format into a SQL right so in that kind of the scenario we generally go for the data flow okay let me open my Azure data factory so once you will open Azure data factory you can see you have a pipeline so till now what actually we were doing we were creating a new pipeline right once you'll click on the new pipeline you can see move and transform so we have a copy data and then the second is the data flow once you will hover the data flow right you can directly drag the data flow okay so first you have to create a data flow for that okay so till now what we are seeing we were seeing the copy data and the data flow now we are going to work on the data flow so if you will if you will just drag the data flow here you will get to see data flow now here we have option like data flow you can select the existing data flow or you can create a new if you will click on the new you can see this is the particular screen for the data flow screen okay now here it is showing like add source if you click here you will be having an option to add your source means here also the same activity we had to do we had to create first data set we had to create a link service and all okay now if you click on the plus button right in the plus button you can see these are the different kind of the transformation we have available which we can do in a data flow you can see we have a join if you want to do any kind of the joining activity conditional split exist union lookup derived column select aggregate pivot and pivot window rank external cell okay the flatten pass stringify filter sorting alter row flow layer sync sync is nothing but your target location okay the sync also you can add if you will just click here you can see we have one source that from source to sync we are directly doing a copy even if you if you click on the plus and suppose if you want to do a union if you will select that union will come like this the different kind of the layer you can select and you can create your pipeline so everything we are going to see in from our next video like based on the real time scenario we are going to understand all about this like what is this aggregate how actually we can perform ranking derived column everything we are going to see i hope you have got a basic idea about what is data flow and when we use so we generally use it for the transformation kind of the activity okay in next video we will see more about in a depth